The Xbox wireless headset is my first wireless headset I have ever owned and I have been impressed by it. One of the main features I love using is having my phone connected via Bluetooth and at the same time having it connected to the wireless adapter on my PC. The adapter itself isn't needed if you have a Bluetooth 4.2 or later adapter. I didn't, hence why I picked up one in my local store. You will however need the adapter to make any changes wirelessly on your PC. One of the necessary programs needed if you're using on your PC is the Xbox Accessories app. Without it, you can't do much configuration. Once installed and Windows updated, leave it to Microsoft to make sure your OS is updated before using something new to its full advantage. You set the equalizer, the auto mute settings for the microphone, how bright the mute light is, and if you want, mic monitoring on or not. Here are the sound differences for auto mute on. We are now going to test all the auto mute levels. I will stop talking to see if the microphone will stop picking up the keyboard that is typing. Note, I am not using a clicky mechanical keyboard, so your mileage may vary on this one. First, we're going to start with the auto mute on low. So this is me typing while I'm talking, and then I'm going to stop talking. Next, we're going to do the auto mute on medium. So this is me still talking, and then I'm going to stop talking. Next, we're going to do the auto mute on high. So this is on mute on high and I'm still talking and then I'm going to stop. And this is the auto mute on off. So I'm going to start typing and talking and then I'm going to stop talking. The microphone on the Xbox wireless headset is a bit more staticky than what I'm accustomed to, but vocals definitely go through, albeit with some background noise. For the equalizer, you have the options between game, heavy bass, movie, music, speech, and customize. The ear cups on the Xbox Warriors headset are incredibly soft. When I was wearing my glasses, I felt no pressure on them at all. The Xbox Warriors headset supports DTSX, Dolby Access, and Windows Sonic for headphones, which are definitely nice features to have on this wireless headset. You are pretty spoiled for choice on this one. During my testing, the Xbox Warriors headset lasted about 14 hours on average usage, and charging from complete 0%, it took about 3.5 hours. One of the gripes I do have is the mic mute light. For me to see it, I have to really force my eye hard to see if it is on or not. But the button is definitely appreciated compared to others that you flip up the microphone itself to mute. Overall, I personally enjoy this headset. It is very comfortable, has a decent range of settings, as well the multiple devices are nice to have on a wireless headset. What do you think of the new Xbox wireless headset? Let me know in the comments below.